welcome back guys to episode two of Beastars, where I'm sure we're all eager to get straight back into things as last week left us on a very big cliffhanger with Legoshi about to confront the mysterious creature that has been causing all the rumors and horror stories going around the school. So I can't wait to meet who exactly is behind this mysterious figure and what exactly they're wanting from Legoshi. So I guess without further ado, let's get into things. And if you guys want to watch more anime, make sure to check out the link above for us and video in three two one go i still be vibing with this opening i mean i, I do miss the first opening I, I think as a lot of you guys said it was just absolutely a legendary and you don't replace legendary however i am getting into this one there is honestly a lot to oh i do like how we did get subs well infused into this opening it plays well uh but anyways there is also a lot to get into within this episode because not only do we have this mysterious figure kind of calling out to Lugoshi concerning Lugoshi was the only one that could hear the hissing like a call for Lugoshi so really mysterious figure and what exactly they're doing in the school and what they want with Lugoshi and also not only do we have to pick the new beasters um who who exactly will be the new B stars? But can we talk about Louis Senpai also for last week? Just walking in school and be like, hmm, "Bitches, I'm out," and it just literally walks out. This is oh, there's also so much to go get into, especially with Louis Senpai. It's just like, where have you been? What have you been up to? And what do you mean you've resigned? Like, quit from school? What is going on? Do 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 do. Yeah, no, no, I'm definitely getting into this one. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. What the hell did you just rip off? The gray police dog runs around. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he quit. Mostly so. <clears throat> oh, interesting. Here is a ball not made. I don't feel like a lot of people agree with that, but it was nicely said. You call him out, Mousy. Tem, his name is Tem. Oh, someone within the school. Ooh, that's even more chilling to think of. <laughs> That's so cool. My good wolf. 
हाँ Well, clearly not, because she has six eyes on me. <laughs> One second, my laundry's done. Oh my god, he actually said that! <laughs> oh, I miss you, my boy. My oblivious boy. My innocent, oblivious boy, who even, yes, is faced with a snake that is stalking him, would like to focus on his laundry. Yes. Also, yes. I don't know if you're appreciating him or, you know, appreciating him. Your little Toto hat. Hex eye. Oh, your security. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you've been chilling there since season one? <laughs> I will get out of that. <laughs> Deeply perverted Wolfie. Do you? Yeah, I'm a bit doubtful on the security guard aspect, honestly. Did we do a... Police check on this dude? <laughs> Oh my god, is the ghost she just appreciating? Oh Jesus Christ, sweetie. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh my god, I love our boy Lagoshi. Yeah, it truly one of a kind. You should be able to. Where are you taking him? Oh, ten? It means they're pretty good. Your pure heart and devilish body. Are you sure you don't want to just skip out on your job? 
Tem, forgive me. Three. timing of that oh maybe the snake knew the goshi as the next beast oh i mean yeah it's it's not a bad idea but a spicy twist indeed you know what? I'm, I'm for it i'm for it I mean, rather than picking a student and giving them that burden and responsibility. Well, you're not very helpful, are you? Uh, okay, fine. But you could give us a hint. I would like to quickly comment that I feel like the security do guard does quite do his job too well. Hexi. Why were they together alone? That's a big thing. And it was it's obviously a carnival. Oof. I do like this kind of wanted-ish poster-like transition scenes. Hmm? That's a bit creepy. And a bit perverted. The troubles of an introvert. Uh, you have a Harry boy that you're very close to, called Haru. And you also have Jackie boy who's a golden retriever and so friendly and adorable. Oh yeah, we also have Alice. Where are the subs? Oh, I'm sorry guys. There were no subs in this version. Uh, this looks like I'm looking into a field. Of labs. I'm just a good wolfie. so bad at this whoa 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 ah oh, that fell miserably Oh. Maybe we could ask the jogging team. They were jogging outside at night. Maybe he would know something. How many colors have you had, sweetie? Oh, you've been waiting for. Oh. 
I remember you punching my boy. Oh, <laughs> you got caught out. That's why you started punching. Oh, oh, sweetie, where'd you learn that? At least she found the underwear thief. Did you see Lakushi with the moves? That was awesome. <gasps> oh, I don't know why that made me want to cry. That I, I don't know. It just it, it means a lot. Um I think Kyle knows what Lakushi is up to. And him Giving that diary like that was actually a really big step towards carnivores and herbivores. And now reading Tim's diary is also going to make me cry. <laughs> Damn it, I, 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 want, I need to go back on that scene. To summon hex eyes, you must do it in the dark. Hint? The clue exists within yourself. Huh? Yeah, no, you're not helpful. <laughs> Expecting Louis Senpai to just walk in. Yes, 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 we are. Let me introduce you to our boss, Louis Senpai. Oh my god. Oh no. Why are you so sexy? Hmm? The 
forgiveness. Work within you. Yes, back up. Yeah, not quite. Winners and losers. <laughs> and in the wickedness of carnivores. <laughs> oh, Louis. Wait, did you? Don't forget the promise we made. How in the world did you end up at the head? Okay, okay, so wait, no, this is the official ending because last time I said that this can't be the official ending oh my god I have a thousand and one things to say but at the same time I'm just so speechless did you guys just become drinking buddies like the fuck what like someone please oh my god like you guys don't understand that it's called the shishigumi the it was a gang of lions it was like a den of it was a gangster of lions and now you have the person sitting as a head, not only a Herbie ball, but Louis Senpai. I like that's that's just something unfathomable. Like what? I'm trying to Oh, this ending. Hmm. I know, but looking at this ending, I feel like Louis Senpai made a deal that was more tempting than a deal with the devil or maybe he's become the devil himself oh my god louis i'm not gonna lie when he walked in with that suit that was teased in the trailer you know that dark purplish suit and just that sexy ass music kicked in and he sat his little tushy on the table that was hot that was just it was just such a sexy and different look from louis senpai oh my god that was just like a wall scene it just gave off such a completely different atmosphere and the way louis senpai just walks in like that wow and it's so impressive because you had all these lions you had about 10 lions and they all get out of the way for a freaking herbie ball a winner like oh my god i'm i'm just honestly so speechless at this reveal i mean i think i can't i mean it was hinted in the trailer so i did kind of assume that look louis senpai was going to show up as the new head of the shishigumi but i just wonder how like how has he managed to put these little pussy cats on a leash because dale just dale oh my god this is this is this is just amazing okay but enough of me simping over louis senpai's transformation i went back on a more serious note on tem's diary and interestingly enough reading the whole entire journal it looks like tem definitely made a friend of a carnival that is also in the drama club because he said a friend shared a secret with me i didn't realize carnivores had issues too but after all of that a really foreboding line is we're friends after all that gives me chills because i think this carnival that shared the secret with Tem, this new friend that Tem made of a carnival might be the one that killed Tem. I do feel like that is foreshadowing that this carnival, the so-called new friend that he felt he made 
was indeed the one to murder Tem and that's just so ominous because it was Tem thinking that you know we're friends after all so he must have definitely let his guard down and maybe that's why they met up at night to maybe practice their lines or maybe it was something in relation to meeting up with the drama and maybe that's when it all went down because I'm also trying to think back to you know the first scene of Tem's murder in like season one of episode one it, he was definitely saying over again like oh weren't we friends like something 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 and, he, and then he also pr proceeded to say like oh yeah if we'll make you like feel better I feel like just just eat me like just kind of do it like he was kind of angry and just kind of gave up towards the end after all the running so that I feel like all links up I'm gonna have to go refer back to episode one but I feel like all of that links up and that's just scaring me because not only does it mean that this is a character that's still in the drama club just acting as though nothing happened after he murdered his friend but this is someone that we're close with this is someone that we've been with in the drama club smile with probably laugh with and they're acting as though nothing happened that's the most aspect this murder is indeed going around as though nothing happened but I don't make I don't make sense of that you can't just go around as though nothing happened you just murdered your friend and somehow you're acting as though nothing happened like that's that's insane like how can you live with yourself after that how could you think as though it was nothing like how could you think of murdering your friend as nothing that doesn't make sense that's the most chilling aspect I feel like we're going to explore the fact that this murderer is going about it, going about his everyday life and not even reflecting or thinking anything bad about it or feels guilty I, like, how, do, how do they not have a guilty conscious is what's worrying me the most but yeah I guess on that note still so many things to get into but definitely a darker tone to this entire episode apart from the kangaroo that stole girls gym wear that that was a random turn of events but anyways a lot more of a darker twist I feel like we are definitely going to much more of a detective mode of the ghost rather than more of the romance with Haru. I feel like we're not going to see Haru for a while, but who knows? I guess until then, make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys next week.